Welcome back guys, it's been a few weeks, uh, there's been a lot going on with the teaching and stuff so it should be winding down a bit more, uh, you know, sort of early sort of December which is good so hopefully we'll do a few more videos um, in December. I hope everyone has been well, lots still going on around the planet as we all know so it's uh, it's been <laughs> it's a great shift shall we say in, in, in people starting to become conscious of what is unseen, uh, the mechanics behind um, a human collective consciousness uh, it is now sort of becoming more overt. Um, and you can see the old patriarchal system trying to hold on. It's, 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 it's grinning and bearing itself, just, you know, it's, it's, it's this sort of last stand. Um, and and you know, we've, we've seen this over the weekend in Austria and this mandatory vaccine. Um, now, of course, that is a human rights issue. Um, it's completely illegal uh, on a universal level. Um, this is something that will will, will create enough, um, shall we say, emotional energy to start, hopefully, if people become conscious, to start breaking that patriarchal system from, from you know, where it's bound together, which is in our co-creative consciousness. Um, so it's going to be very interesting how this plays out. Um, yes, there's violence and, you know, we don't really achieve a lot in violence, although chaos creates, sometimes creates violence and it's all part of that shift to say no. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, the people that put themselves out there, these sort of what we call, call them freedom fighters, to actually stand up and say no, um, you know, we, we have to embrace what they're doing because, you know, they are putting themselves on the line for, for the rest of humanity because they're the ones that are starting to create a voice of saying no. Um, but, you know, we, we sort of see we don't condone violence, but generally this, this all manifest in its way sometimes, and that's just unfortunate. We're in violence every day on a domestic level, on a, on a, on a, on a planetary level. Um, it's just, we just don't hear about it on the news. There's so many private wars going on. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. But at the end of the day, the main thing is, is that we are starting to become conscious of, of what is unconscious. Uh, and of course, like I said in the other videos, the shadow energy is now coming so close to the light energy. You know, the polarity of, of the one energy is coming together. Um, and, uh, and we're starting to see, especially in our, in our field, esoteric field, is that the shadow energy is also trying to release itself from our consciousness because it knows its time is over. So it's going to be more overt. It's going to be more stupid in your face. It's going to, you know, it's going to be fickle. It's going to change its mind every two seconds, which we see with the government, with the way they, they control things and, 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 and change the rules every five seconds. Um, because it, it's trying to wake up people. So actually the shadow energy now is actually giving us a gift of going, hello, you know, this is manipulation. We've been, you know, you've been living in this illusion. We've been controlling that illusion. Uh, and we're showing you now the holes you know, or the mismanagement, misinformation in what we've been doing. So it, it's actually a gift now. The shadow energy is actually, it's actually giving us a great gift because it's so overt, because it's so ridiculously stupid in, it, in its fundamental projection now. Um, but it, it's waking people up and that is good. Um, this time is always going to happen. It was always going to happen and we're going to see more chaos next year, but that's okay because it's all finalising and it's, it's taking its time to sort of shift its energy. So, um, you know, we just need to stay out of, of the story because as soon as you pull yourself into the story, you can start getting triggered. And if you obviously haven't worked on yourself, worked on your multidimensional energies or your emotional body, you're going to get triggered uh, by fear, by doubt, by scarcity, by survival mode, um, whatever, pressure, uh, being caught still in that collective or societal programming. And it's going to trigger your, you know, it's going to trigger your own fears, your base chakra especially. Um, so just be very aware of what's what's being triggered in you at the moment, because that is what your soul is trying to trying to release in you. Uh, so also see it as a gift and don't suppress it, um, because also emotions are trying to release themselves from you as well. They don't want to be in your body anymore. They are trying to release themselves. They are conscious energy. They have a consciousness. So anything with a consciousness has a directive, has a life, has a meaning. And a purpose. Now, when that purpose is finished, even if it's just an emotion, it needs to be resolved. It needs to be let go for the good of of, of the planet, of the, of this of this uh, you know this illusion that we've been living in this, this 
gift of separation, this experiment if you want to call it. So it's all coming to an end. Um, so we really need to be finalising everything within ourselves um, so we can sort of move with it with the earth and with, with consciousness as it is evolving and going into this renaissance that the planet is now moving into. So I want to just read off a couple of messages. Um, these have been channeled again um, over the last week or two, um, but they're very, very relevant for right now as well. Okay, so it's time to acknowledge what you believe you do not like about yourselves as individual souls. There is a grand opportunity opening for all human beings in this time of upheaval to shift lifetimes of trauma and unresolved emotional charge. What appears to be chaos on your planet is really a realignment of consciousness and we want all human beings to see it as such. Because when you get pulled into the fear, you lower your vibration and this further enhances cellular division. And when your cells are divided, you cannot ground truth and live from that foundation of truth. Misinformation has been the greatest weapon against human sovereignty and all of you know this deep in your hearts. You know deep within that change had to happen. So you can remember who you really are. Divine intelligence is asking you all to question the narrative on your planet, but also your own narrative. What doesn't serve you any longer? Where are your patterns repeating themselves? Are you staying in situations out of fear? And as soon as you get inquisitive, you start the process of oscillation. And through oscillation, energy can swing and break up the restriction so you can intuit your own truth. Feelings matter and they are your only true guide through this colossal shift in consciousness. You are starting to merge with the invisible world and your collective consciousness as a race must now be on discovering your true selves. And this, not, and this is not about what someone else says about you. This is about your inner identity as a soul having a physical experience. Divine guidance is best felt when you are still in the moment, slowing the breath down and only then invoking the soul. Real transformation is getting out of your own way, allowing your higher selves to drive what is desired. Being in complete surrender to the soul's charge. Set your intention each morning to discover your inner truth and the universe will respond. In actual fact, we are delighted to assist you because we are here to assist you to assist yourselves. There is nothing to fear on your planet. It is your belief systems that need to change around what is real and what is illusion. When you work on yourself, you unconsciously heal the planet and all those that walk around you. When something triggers you, acknowledge that your soul has created that trigger so you can release the denied, repressed emotion. So that's the first message. And this, is, um, this one was actually channeled from the Algorians, which is the feminine consciousness that I work with. Um, and they're depicted with the star of Al Gore. You can, you can see it in our constellation. So we would like humanity to be conscious of what they emanate towards each other and take time to evaluate why they feel certain ways towards people in their lives, but also to humanity as a whole, whether it's male, female, sexual orientation, the colour of the skin, because what is happening, what you cannot feel, is a division at the cellular level, causing you as individuals to feel even more separate within yourselves. So when you criticise and judge another, you are actually creating more distance between yourself and your own soul body. And we are in the age of Aquarius, which is acknowledging, working and integrating with the collective consciousness. That collective consciousness, first port of call, is with your soul body, before you embark on a journey into multidimensional awareness. Look at it like this. Every time you criticise or judge, you are making your life harder 
and actually moving away from your soul integration, which is also moving away from the agenda on your planet, which is integration with the unseen world. To move away from the universal directive is only going to cause you more confusion and suffering. Aren't you all tired of struggle, tired of misinformation, tired of staying in survival mode or victim to societal programming? Of course you all are. We can see it all. And this is why we come now to show you, to, sorry, and this is why we come now, come to you now so you may own your life path with love. Because all of you live in fear on some level and you no longer need this experience of separation of duality opposing itself. Union, alignment and integration is the only agenda for this planet going forward. And I actually channeled this for a, a talk that I was doing. It was a live healing as well. So it actually said we will merge with anyone's consciousness if they give us permission. Um, so I'm not going to do the healing now um, because for, for this group, I, I don't do that. I'll just do the pass on information. Um, but if, if, you just, if you just tune in to the Algorians, say Algor, the star of Algor, uh, they will merge directly with your consciousness. The fact that you're even listening to this message um, means you're ready to, to listen to it on some level or to accept that consciousness because they are going to assist you to feel the, 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 the raw feminine energy that's been suppressed now and we're not talking about feminine me too stuff what we're talking about is male and females on this planet this is about suppressed divine feminine energy okay so yes obviously the patriarchal system is, is controlled and that is part of it but we're talking about our individual male and female energy because a man generally has made pawns for war which is why the heart chakra is shut down so they have to suppress their own feminine energy, which is their feeling body. So men are most enraged by not being able to feel their duality, to obviously always be pushed into that, that, that flight, flight or, or male fighting energy. Um, and we see this across the board. And obviously females have had to suppress that down as well, but has also been on a more physical level for this last cycle where the patriarchal system has suppressed the feminine. So both men and women are equally uh, enraged uh, by this denial of their own feminine energy. So the point is, is that that needs to come up now. Um, and you're seeing it a lot. I've been seeing it more in females, obviously, because men are a bit slower to take up on this work, which is unfortunate, but they will come around to it. Um, and that, that suppression, not only of the patriarchal, sorry, the, yeah, the patriarchal system, but also lifetimes and lifetimes of not being able to express themselves through their own soul bodies or, or the emotions. So there's a lot of rage coming up. Um, and, you know, obviously the, the energy on the planet had to take a turn um, for females to start to be feel safe to express themselves as well, which is what we're seeing now, which is fantastic. Uh, and of course, coming out back to the, to the physical side of it, the Me Too, you know, and all the rest of it has been a big part of that. Um, and also now about balancing that energy because you know to go out into the workforce you especially saw in the 90s where women would become more masculine to survive in the in the corporate world um, that again is now taking a turn um, and that's starting to shift a little bit and it's very funny because you, you noticed in the 90s and they did a study that the families went from four kids down to one kid as, as an average or, th or three or four kids as an average like it dropped over 50 percent um, because of women going out um, and, and, and getting out into that sort of working world. Um, so really since obviously the 60s there's a big shift and, and change and stuff but we're just sort of starting now to kick into this this divine feminine energy starting to f come in very subtle but very powerful um, but we need we do need assistance to bring it in because we're so blocked unconsciously that even if we have the intention to receive it our belief systems or our programming or, or our conditioning or emotional charge that hasn't resolved is blocking it unconsciously. And this is why people get frustrated. They say, I'm doing all this meditation every day, I'm putting this intention now, but it's still not happening because it's unconscious and you can't see it. So you have to allow yourself, obviously working on yourself and, and doing healing work and all the rest of it is, is, is primary. Um, but you know, if you give permission and just say, Algorians, come in, 
and then obviously they will start to work with you and you have to be open because the synchronicity will you know will unfold but you can't have tunnel vision you need to keep peripheral vision going when you when you acknowledge these types of beings coming to work with you because they will they will talk to you in whatever way they can communicate um, and that may be an ad on a TV it may be a passing conversation you may read something in a book and there's the answer so you need to just have that intention in the morning to 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 see the signs um, and then they'll start to work for you and probably what will happen what I'm being told right now is you'll start to feel the anger and rage so when you feel that anger and rage just sit with it give it some identity maybe an archetype maybe a color a shape whatever and just breathe into it and just create that illusion of distance and just breathe into the feeling with no judgment do not go into the story and just allow it to start processing because all you need to do is give it space and then it will start to shift itself okay all right guys well i'll be back again hopefully yeah in the next week or two and we'll speak more then all the best take care cheers